Hey guys, Joseph here with Engadget. We're here at Mobile World Congress 2013, and what you see in front of me here is the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0, which Samsung's own JK Shin had confirmed at the end of January. So as you can see here, obviously by the name, it is an 8-inch screen. The resolution is 1280 by 800, and it is a TFT LCD display. Pixel density of about 189. So you know, compare this to something like the uh, I iPad Mini, you're getting a little bit 0.1 inch more uh, in screen real estate and a bit higher resolution. And also uh, weighs just a little bit heavier at uh, 338 grams when compared uh, to Apple's own small tablet. A um, bunch of uh, innovations here culled together from the uh, Note 2 and the Note 10.1, but one of the uh, greatest things that Samsung went ahead and improved in its Note line is the uh, S Pen now will control the uh, menu and back buttons on the actual uh, tablet itself. Uh, so which is a great thing because in the past users would have to actually use their fingers and break up the experience. So as you can see here it still does that S Pen detection and brings up this page giving you your access to S Note and whatnot uh, for all those different templates. Um, the other thing that uh, Samsung's included here and you can see is we can do uh, that multi-window multitasking aspect. So we can go ahead we'll pull that open in the drawer, drag Chrome out, by dragging and dropping, and then we'll take something like the calculator out and put it out here as well. And you can see you can do the dual screen and swap them up and down as you like. Now, if we go up here and pull down the uh, drop down menu, you can see there's something now called reading mode. So Samsung is having this Galaxy Note 8 double uh, as an e-reader, <clears throat> as well as a uh, living room extension. And we'll get to that uh, smart room feature later, but here's reading mode. Um, it's enabled right now. Shut it off, turn it back on. It'll prompt you and let you know that the screen the display is being optimized um, basically for reading, and you can go ahead and whitelist different e reading applications like Kindle or Nook or whatnot, but basically it's so that the, uh, the LCD is not burning your eyes for prolonged uh, reading use. So let's just jump back into um, the home page here and we'll go to the apps and we'll try and find a smart remote. Uh, now, this is obviously powered by Peel. But uh, it's a visual programming guide, and it'll pull up your, your favorites, what's live on television now, and then you can go ahead and once you've, um, once you've hooked that up with your television, of course it works across all different manufacturers, you can go ahead and change the channel uh, based upon what your, your viewing interest is. So again, uh, this is because the research shows that about 85% of consumers are using their tablets in the living room. Um, so we'll just go back to the home screen here, and you can see, if we just scroll through, uh, this is Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean with the touch with skin um, and inside is the um, Exynos for quad clocked at 1.6 gigahertz and buffered by 2 gigabytes of RAM. Um, this particular model is the 3G HSPA plus version and a very interesting feature is that you can go ahead and hold it up to your head to make voice calls although it's probably better if you want to use a headset for that. Um, the US version will be Wi-Fi only so wah wah you won't have that phone capability and we've also been told that an LTE model is in the works. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and give you a quick tour of the device. You can see here on the side there is your IR blaster. Here is your volume rocker and then just above that is the uh, power button. We'll go on to the back. You can see it's pretty clean. No, no, no extraneous branding, just Samsung and the 5 megapixel camera. Up here is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then if we shift it around here to this edge, you can see here are the covered flaps for micro SD and the micro SIM, which again is for the European or the global model uh, only. And then we'll look at the bottom and you can see there's your uh, dual speaker setup and the micro USB port. Um, as for pricing and availability, we're still waiting on that information, but we do know that this is expected for a global rollout uh, sometime uh, in quarter two. Nothing more specific has been given, and uh, Samsung doesn't expect that it'll be giving uh, any more specifics on that uh, this week at MWC. And just to give you a bit of a comparison uh, with uh, one of its family members, uh, next to it is the uh, Galaxy Note 2. So you can see it's very familiar uh, in terms of form factor here.